Hello and welcome to Model Yacht Racing UK. In this video I'm going to look at some of the options on choosing which class of boat for a newcomer to the sport. The class of boat is a name we give to a group of boats that are designed to a defined set of criteria. It's probably hull length, length of hull, sail area, keel size etc. So uh, which class of boat should I start with is usually the first question anyone interested in taking up the sport will ask. There is not actually a correct answer, but I'll go through a few of the options. It depends very much what, on what you're looking for from model yachting. Some people are looking for a casual part-time hobby. Some enjoy making model yachts, others tinkering. Some just want to be part of a club and all the social activities that go with it. Um, but this channel is devoted to model yacht racing, so as such we will assume that you're looking to progress to a good racing standard. Sailing a model yacht is pretty easy, right? There are only two controls, rudder and the sails. And to be honest, you couldn't get much simpler. The basics can be picked up quite quickly, actually. However, racing model yachts is much more complex as it involves learning many different skills and honing them to a level where you can compete effectively against others. As with any skill, this takes a lot of practice, a lot of mistakes, a lot of learning, and a lot of time. Speak to any experienced racer and he will tell you that although there are rare occasions where people jump into the sport, they're naturally skilled and they rise to the top very quickly. For the most, it's a long process of learning over many years. So back to the original question, which class of boat to start with? Before choosing a boat, it's probably best to choose a club. A quick Google or the MYA website will find these. Check out the boats they race and if you're lucky, they'll sell multiple classes and you'll be able to look over the different classes. If they only sell one class, then the decision has probably been made for you for the time being anyway. In the last few years in the UK, model yacht classes have, ch have changed a little. Prior to 2013, you will be choosing between a number of old style classes such as IOM, Marblehead, RG65, Tenrator, A-Class and quite a number of others. These are super boats, uh, but they are starting to look a little dated now. Most are individually built, which means they're expensive to buy new. Or, of course, you can build one yourself if you've got plenty of spare time. These boats are built to the specific set of rules, which specify the length of hull, sail plan, etc. Uh, but most of these allow for considerable variations in the designs of, and the layouts and the equipment. Have a look at these three IOM boats. Now, these are all international one meter boats and they're all built to the same set of plans. But you'll notice that the hull shapes are completely different. If you look at the transoms, the backs of the boat, um, one of them is uh, almost skiff-like. Um, but all these race together and they're the same class. What this inevitably means is newer, better designs come out from time to time. And so to keep at the top of the fleet, you will need to keep changing boats and upgrading equipment. As a result, there are always a number of second-hand boats on the market and an old second-hand boat may seem the obvious way to go and indeed it can be a good start into model yachting world. But be aware it's not necessarily an ideal first step. So what about a new boat? Well, the most popular class in the UK until recently was the IOM, the International One Meter. A new top design professionally built IOM currently costs in excess of £3,000 and unfortunately you will probably have to wait two years to get one. Off the shelf isn't, uh, isn't a phrase that's used around here. What this means is if you're thinking about starting off model yachting by buying the best available new kit, sorry but it's, it's just about impossible. Since 2013, there have been a couple of mass-produced cheap boats available off the shelf. Originally, these were intended as cheap starter or learner boats, 
but they have actually become popular at all levels of racing, from club to international. I'm talking about the Dragon Force DF65 and the Dragonflight DF95. Now these boats are raced as what we call a one design class, and this is important. What it means is when racing, all boats must be exactly the same, in, the, in this case as supplied by the manufacturer. You can't alter the layout, the equipment, the rigging or any aspect of the boat from what is supplied by the manufacturer. Whilst this may appear initially as being somewhat unappealing and restrictive, in actual fact what it does is provide a level playing field when it comes to equipment. This allows the helm to focus on improving their boat handling and tactics without the need to add any complications on, on whether their boat is not designed for the particular conditions or the guy in front is obviously going to win because he's got one of those special flanger widgets on his force day. What we have is less variables which inevitably means personal progression in model yacht racing is quite likely to be much quicker. So the original question once again, which class of boat should I start with? You probably realise by now there is no definitive answer. However, check out our video review of the Dragonflight DF95 and see what you think. Thank you for watching this video. Please like if you like and if you want to see more and encourage us to do more, please subscribe. Many thanks.